Hi everyone, it's Roger Smith from Source Audio, and I'm here to uh, talk to you today about the difference between monophonic pitch tracking and polyphonic pitch tracking and the advantages, differences between them, uh, which is particularly important when looking at our C4 synth. I know what most of you are thinking. Polyphonic has got to be better because it allows you to track multiple strings and if it's fast, boy, that sounds like that's a weaning combination and anything that's not polyphonic and fast uh, must somehow be inferior. But, and what we're going to show today, if you take a little bit of a closer look, you realize that uh, having very accurate monophonic pitch tracking is a significant advantage in uh, a lot of synth applications where you are building sounds from uh, uh, synth waveforms. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, I have an example of a 55 hertz signal. In this case, it's from a bass guitar, and we've used this because it's kind of easy to kind of capture and get a nice picture of it. And uh, so if you take a look here at this waveform, uh, you can clearly see the 55 hertz uh, fundamental. And of course, you also see some harmonics. Um, and of course, you know, a, uh, uh, if a bass guitar just produced a perfect sine wave, that wouldn't be uh, all that interesting. But this is what uh, we're sort of starting with. So let's take a look at the C4 uh, waveforms uh, that get generated in the oscillators after doing the monophonic pitch tracking. Uh, you'll see here our uh, saw wave is uh, almost perfect. Uh, you'll see some little tails here. That is overshoot uh, that's going on with the oscilloscope. That's not part of the waveform. It's just uh, happening too fast for the oscilloscope to track it. Uh, so those little tails are sort of meaningless. You can also see the, uh, the sine wave uh, there, which is uh, easier to do um, and looks uh, pretty darn good. And another tricky one is the uh, square wave. And again, you can see a little bit of the overshoot there, but um, pretty darn good looking square wave. So now let's move on to the polyphonic case. Uh, so this is uh, from a very well-regarded, expensive uh, polyphonic synth uh, pedal. And as you can see, the waveforms, the bass waveforms, are significantly different. Um, they're nowhere near as clean. The saw clearly has um, some jitters there. Um, sine wave looks pretty good. And the square wave, again, you know, has uh, some, some jitters. Our sort of theory as to why this is happening uh, is the polyphonic pitch tracker has a hard time differentiating between the fundamental and the harmonics that are uh, present um, in the uh, incoming signal and as a result uh, produces something that looks polyphonic as opposed to a nice clean fundamental which is what and a synth pedal you want to be building your sounds from. So it's all fine and good to look at the pictures, but of course what really matters is to look um, at the and listen to the sounds. So I'm going to start here. I have a clip um, which uh, shows what um, the uh, clean sound is, and here we go. And now we're going to move on to the square wave that the C4, using its monophonic pitch tracker, uh, how that uh, sounds coming right out of the oscillator. So again, uh, you can see here that uh, very quickly 
uh, the C4 is able to latch on to what the fundamental is uh, and uh, that uh, resulting waveform um, is, uh, is very uh, clean, uh, starts clean and stays clean. So now let's look at the polyphonic case. Again, this is uh, coming uh, right out of the uh, oscillator stage and this is what the square wave sounds like uh, in that instance. So let's go through that one more time. Here is the C4 monophonic pitch tracker. And one more time, here is the polyphonic pitch tracking. So while um, the uh, polyphonic pitch tracker sort of gets to the fundamental eventually, in the process of getting there, uh, there's lots of uh, artifacts which are not in the base signal. Now, one could say, oh, well, that sort of sounds cool, and sure it does, uh, but that's something that uh, when creating a synth tone, uh, one wants to do uh, not uh, by accident or by happenstance, someone would want to do that uh, deliberately. And in the case of the C4, if that's the sound you want, you can create that deliberately, but it's not something that you are stuck with. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it's a very, hopefully, clear view of uh, how a monophonic pitch tracking uh, setup uh, can be a significant advantage uh, in a synth pedal. Thank you for watching.